Welcome to Frugal Finance. My name is Matthew, and I'm going to talk about the pending property crash of 2021. So let's get stuck in. Now, as you would have seen on loads of news feeds, pretty much everywhere you turn, really, whether it's the BBC News, um, Twitter, any sort of property, uh, news, news articles, newspapers, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of talk about the property crash in 2021. So the theory being that because of the, the pandemic and all of the uh, odds and sods issues that that has created, um, there will be a property crash in 2021. Now, um, there are some valid arguments for that. Um, mainly you've got things like the furlough scheme coming to an end, you've got companies struggling to make money so people might start to lose jobs and then those jobs might not be replaced. You've got automation, so a lot of people's jobs will be replaced by things online. And, and the way the workforce is shifting um, uh, in terms of remote working, uh, home working, less travel, all those kind of things, they're all going to have a knock on effect. You may feel to yourself the benefit of working from home, but obviously the person that serves you the fuel or the coffee in the morning, your overpriced Starbucks, um, will eventually be out of a job because that piece of the market will become smaller. So there's a giant knock on effect. Now, the general assumption is that this will inevitably uh, lead on to property prices reducing or falling in 2021 or a crash. Now, historically, um, during the times of recession, um, even the 2008 recession was a particular property related financial crash because it was to do with bad loans on, on the real estate and property around the world. Um, but generally speaking, um, there are some sort of knock on effects to property. Now, you have to remember that the uh, issue here is if you are to buy a property now and then you need to sell it before it is recovered then obviously you're going to feel the pain of that. If there is say a 10 or 5 percent or even more reduction in property prices in 2021 or 2022 and the market is stagnant for a while it only really affects you if you're looking to sell. So the price you purchase it for today is irrelevant if in the future you're going to sell it. So let's say you sell in 15 years time and the property price doubles, it's rather irrelevant what you pay for it today in the fact that it might go down by 10% next year. Obviously everyone is gonna think, well, if I'm gonna buy some property, then I'll hold out for next year, which is a strategy of sorts, but obviously there's no guarantee that there will be a property crash. And obviously normally with crashes, lending becomes a problem. So you'll find that the deposits will increase, uh, the criteria and the quality of the properties that they're willing to lend on will, in, uh, will, will come harder to, uh, to fill those criteria, if you like. Um, even things like flats, for example, um, there's lots of legislation that isn't uh, legally binding or actual real legislation, but mortgage companies are insisting upon it being in place in order to loan on it. And that's already happening now. So EW1S form, which you can obviously uh, Google or have a look in the links below, um, is thing to do with cladding on buildings. Um, mortgage companies are insisting that certain tests and reports are in place. Already they're looking to, to really loan their money to people that are buying high quality properties, high quality in their eyes. So there's the, the little seeds of twitchiness starting to come through. Now obviously this presents a wonderful opportunity for you who is potentially looking to get into the property market, whether that be your first property or buy to let or refurbishing or um, you know commercial to residential conversions. Um, I probably would say the BRRR method will probably be the the best method for next year and maybe for the foreseeable future. So it's your buy, refurbish, rent, 
refinance repeat strategy covered in another video again links in the description below um, and I think that will probably be a stable thing for most people to do especially if you're starting out in your journey or if you've only got you know maybe one or two properties um, in your portfolio so uh, I think in, in that sense that there may be a crash um, but it's also a, a wonderful opportunity for people now some key things are so number one look for properties that are below market value so you want to be paying 30 to 40 percent um, less than the market value now someone sold to me once which resonated with me really well it was that if you if your first offer doesn't embarrass you it's probably not low enough now I know that sounds borderline a bit arrogant but actually I really like that not that I ever feel embarrassed by the offer I feel like they're always fair offers but I felt like that was a good target so if I could get a smidge of cheeky monkey or embarrassment about it then actually that made me feel like I was in the right area that I felt comfortable with um, you're going to get a lot of people next year that are probably desperate to sell they're motivated sellers as we kind of call them or brand them um, people that have perhaps need to sell in a hurry for a various array of reasons and obviously you can be fair about them and you're not there to prey on their uh, opportunity um, in terms of you know if they got divorced or you know family separation or something like that um, but at the end of the day you are there to be a property developer or to make money at this game so you don't want to be paying over market rate you also want to be uh, number two looking for property that you can add value to so the day one uplift is really what you're going to try and achieve now you've got obviously your uplift from buying it below market rate if you can also achieve an uplift from uh, potential refurbishment or extension or conversion so you buy a house and you can convert it into two flats or somewhere where you could buy a two-bed property you can make into a three-bed by extending into the garage or the loft or something and um, those are the kind of properties that you really want to try and get hold of um, so that you can buy below market rate and or uh, add value to it and that way you're going to then be able to refinance your your purchase and get most if not all of your capital back out now if some of your capital stays in the property then that's life you know you you kind of expect that a little bit especially when you're first starting out you may not get the best deal you may not get the best deal every time but if you can effectively get the lion's share if not all of your money back out that gives you a license to then repeat and go again now there'll be lots of uh, avenues for finding these deals and whilst right move and, and zoopla are quite good avenues really they are quite amateurish to be honest Just sitting on right move waiting for that property and the amount of people see, i see looking at the last 24 hours so the first to the market in some sort of belief that if they get in there quick um, then then that's when the deals are to be done now actually if you're going to use right move what you want to be looking at is the ones that have been on there for ages why have they been on there for ages have a chat with the agent what's the problem why won't they sell is it because they're being too unrealistic about the price or maybe they don't need to sell or is it because the agent perhaps hasn't really had any offers or pushed them and they're not motivated enough if you put in a cheeky offer you might start the process going um, but auctions um, direct to vendor purchasing so things like Facebook Gumtree uh, Twitter uh, all those uh, social media uh, outlets again we have all those channels for, for us um, so if you want to follow us there please again have a look in the link in the descriptions below use the links um, and uh, really those are the places where you'll find the people that are perhaps desperate to sell or somebody that knows somebody that wants to sell or has got a plot of land or some garages or perhaps their grandma wants to downsize but they can't get rid of the particular property those are the places you get the best deal because you've cut everybody out of it you've gone straight to the person you've got the opportunity to have that sensible conversation with them direct at a very early stage 
Um, so those are good uh, deals. Um, obviously you can market straight to those sort of people, leaflet drop, um, do all those sort of things, perhaps post on the various selling pages through Facebook for where your areas are, um, that you're interested in buying properties, you're in the market for that. So those are, those are some good avenues uh, to, to look at. Obviously financing is gonna possibly be more problematic if we do go into a dip. But again, you need to concentrate on things like your credit score. Uh, you're obviously going to need a reasonable size deposit on these things. So that's where the Brewer system comes on, the BRRR. You okay. want your money back out so you can repeat this and as it goes. Cash is king in a recession. Um, so if you're ready and, and they're ready to go, then obviously you're going to be in the best position over and above everybody else. And really work with your broker. Keep an eye on what they're looking for. You know, if the if the kind of flavour is not to buy flats anymore, don't look at flats. They're harder, maybe. If the flavour is to not buy really rundown properties that are borderline mortgageable, because some mortgage companies get a bit funny, try not to look at them. Especially if you're really reliant upon uh, a mortgage to uh, secure your deal. So those are my tips for really trying to make the most of 2021 now uh, if you want to learn more about um, the brewer method and how to buy auction please have a look back through some of my previous videos and um, they should give you some guidance um, and if you be so kind to subscribe uh, like comment below or if you would like some free shares with trading 212 or free trade please Look in the descriptions below. There's all the links to these various things. Um, you can get free shares in them and you know start your uh, saving journey, whether you're investing in property or investing in the stock market. Um, let's make 2021 the year where you start to kind of get control of your finances. So with that said, please like the video and I'll see you next time.